Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new review and today we are here to review Well, I review Miles I won't get 2099 until next year But uh, today we are here to review The SA Figure Arts Spider Gwen From, well, or Ghost Spider Whatever version you want to call her because of her comic version From the call from the Spider-Verse Yes, this is Grant, Spider-Man, Tamashi made a figure of her. And no, this is not the World Tour version. What the, what's the difference between the two of them? Well, just, well, just the stand, that's it. The stand is, the stand is the only difference between the two, and that's pretty much it. Anyway. Yeah, I have Gwen here, and I can say she's way better than Miles. Let me explain. So, Miles' figure is good enough, but uh, I talk about how I talk about how I was not a big fan with how skinny that figure is because he is so easy to break. Don't get me wrong, so so don't get me wrong, so is Grant, but uh, see a little bit more buffer, <laughs> buffer, get it, buffer? Sorry, but see a little bit more buffer than than Miles because Miles got the chicken legs for articulation and for his figure, which. Which sucks because I actually like that figure a lot. But somehow they improve on Miles and make Gren two times better. But at the same time, I have my issue with this toy and we're gonna talk about it. Alright, first off, first off, how good articulation? This is how far her bi this is how far her biceps go from here to here to here to here. Just gotta be gentle because just like Miles, she's really easy to break. This is how far her legs go. I know that her, also, I, for record, I know that her legs are, I know that her legs aren't the best on other people's copy because they're, they're so easy to break. And yes, I can pose her. <sighs> Gotta be nice and gentle. Gotta be nice and gentle. Oh. Oh, great. Not great. Not holding on. Oh, yeah. You can pose her pretty well. I'm trying to show. Great. Now I got the Spider Verse uh, freaking soundtrack stuck in my head. Mostly Hummingbird. Love that song. I would play it for this review, but I'm not trying to get copyrighted by Sony. So. Sorry, guys. So, no Hummingbird for me. <laughs> But yeah, she's pretty good for articulation. Good scope too. Honestly, I'm a, I, I honestly say this. I think I think she looks way better than the Sentinel and Mayfex version. Even though those versions are based off the first movie version of her, this one this this one's based off the second movie. I don't know. I don't have I don't have a Spider Gwen. Am I correct? I don't have a Spider Gwen or a Gwen Stacy in my collection. Because one, Mar it's no way heck I'm finding a Marvel Legend version of Gwen Stacy. And two, did correct me if I'm wrong, but did Marvel Legend make one a long time ago and uh, and never got like a reissue ever since? I know, I know Marvel, I know Hasbro made a Marvel Legend version of this figure, of this character in figure form, but that Mar, but that figure for that Marvel Legend looked like a complete dog crap. Doesn't look good in my opinion. I want I want a good Grand Stacy figure. Well, I have the import for that. <laughs> also, it's coming with a red bad head scope. Just saying. But anyway, yeah, her, her articulation is good. This is how far her legs go. I show you want to be you want to be gentle, by the way, because this this is right this right here is so easy to break. So on to accessories because well we got a lot of talk about for her accessories. Oh yeah, I want. Oh yeah, I I, I, I haven't told you this, but uh, I told my one friend it, but uh, I did a little bit. Of, I did, I did a little bit of a mod on my copy of Spider Gwen, so you can't see it, but uh, I changed the neck pegs on this Gwen Stacy with the freaking civilian Gwen Stacy neck because I accidentally got 
I accidentally got the, I accidentally got the spider, I, I, accidentally, I accidentally got, uh, spider Gwen's great, uh, neck peg stuck on the Gwen Stacy civilian head. So, because of that, I decided to do a little bit of a mod to swap out the neck pegs for them. So, this version has the civilian, ne civilian Gwen Stacy neck peg, while the civilian Gwen Stacy head had the spider Gwen neck peg, and it worked perfectly out. Because you can't even tell the difference. You can't even see it right here as well. And it's perfect. And also it's very easy for me. It's also very easy for me to take this off and put on the other head. Speaking of head, let's go on to the let's go blah. Let's blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Let's go on to those accessories, shall we? Boy, we got a lot of accessories. Damn, she coming more than miles. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to show all this. Oh, All right, first off, here we have her, here we have her hoodie, because, well, you could do this if you want. You, you could take this off and uh, place this with her, well, only civilian head and I. Uh, you can do this. And how is the head sculpt? Honestly, it looks really good. It looked just like her from the movie. The shade, the shade is a little bit off, in my opinion, but this looks so accurate to her from the movie. That's not her funny. How? Explain to me this. How the heck is a? How the heck is a two D animated Marvel movie head scope for this figure look way better than any of the live action head scope had? But it has one on. How does this head sculpt look way better than any of the live action head sculpt that Tomashi did in the past for Marvel and DC figures? Because no offense, those look like complete butt cheeks and look, look like complete garbage. Heck, heck, I would say it further. This look, I, I'll even say it further though. This looks way better than any of the any of the recent stuff that that has been. Nah, this look way better. To any of the recent stuff that Hasbro been doing for Lightning Collection. Sorry, not sorry, cause no offense, Lightning Collection lately have been completely well. What they do do, but I will talk about more about that tomorrow in a video. Get my full on thoughts about Lightning Collection in general, because boy, oh boy, I got a lot of things to say about it. So here we have her webs. We have a long one. And we have a short one. Miles had the exact. These are the exact same web that Miles came with, and with the first Ingrid Spider-Man figure. So that's the exact same. Oh yeah, the exact same web that Miles came with. But to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, my copy, my copy, oh, the one that came with Miles, that one broke on me for it because this, because this type of web right here sucks. Just saying, if you have like, if you have like, if you have like some type of custom webs, those can work perfectly for this figure. Cause those are way better than the one that Tomasa gave you. Like my goodness. And yeah, Mayfex doesn't better. So moving on. Here's the second head sculpt that makes her look very serious, very serious, very serious. Look like she's about to kill someone. Here we have her relaxed. Here we have her. Well, her relaxed hands. Here we have her wall crawling hands. Here we have her. Her. Her red pose hands. And here we have her. Sorry, sorry. These things are too small. And here we have her hands for. Here we here we are. Here we are. Look. Here we have the hands you can use for this to put these on her to make it like any web string you want to. So yeah, those, those are our accessories. Speaking of accessories, I want to talk about this. So Miles's 
So, okay. Okay, let me see if I can show this off. So, you see, so you see this part here? It's, so Miles is, so stretching out Miles' hands are way easier. Yes, but Gren's other hands are way, are two times harder. Because you gotta be nice and gentle with, with how popping out her hands and, and put them in and, and like replace them. Because here's what I do. I have to be nice and gentle and put, and think like a, I had to be nice and gentle with her, with her hand. Take the, take this hand off, put in a brand new one. I got to screw it in like a freaking screwdriver do with a, with a freaking, well, nail. <laughs> I got to put, you, you got, <laughs> I'm trying to say, treat the figure like a screwdriver for that, for that part. I don't know why, her, but her, but her, but her hand pegs are, are really annoying and, it, it sucks though because Miles are way, Miles pegs are way bigger than her. So, Tomashi, you want to explain something to me? Because I felt like, because I felt like there was a miscommunication there because that because that part just suck and I'm not a big fan of that. Not, not so all. Great. Anyway, on to size comparison. I just got some random figures from my from my shelf when I pair her with. Here we have her with the essays figure coming in Shadow Moon. Oh, oh, let me fix that. Sorry about that. But yeah, here we have her with the essay figure coming in Shadow Moon, and here she is with well Miles from the last review. My, you're so skinny, but you're, you're a good figure. Ooh, let me All right. Here we have her with about a decade due to all the recent talk about his actor appearing in a comedy show, which I actually, I did don't know what to say about that till like, I get official news, till I like, get official info. Oh, oh my god. Here we have Palado. Here we have, well, my girl Jasmine. And here we have Gogeta. <laughs> I call him Gogeta. Second best fusion. Just don't at me about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this, but uh here's her stand right here. I forgot I forgot to show this off, but yeah. But overall, she's good. I raised her pegs for her hands are way, are a little bit more bigger because I felt like they should have been. But at the same time, this figure if you okay. If you have this figure I recommend you be very careful because she is very easy to break. See, she's not easy to break than Miles. No, Miles, Miles is literally that easy to break. Like, literally, he had, he had chicken legs. He had, he had chicken legs and hands for fingers. Well, but for arms as well. That figure is so easy that my figure is easy to break. It'll take me like two seconds to break in my hand. I'm not trying to do that. What I'm trying to say. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media in the description. And if you want to pick the figure up, well, well, she's not premium Bandai. Miguel is. She, you can find her. You can find her at your local local retailers, online or in person, IRL. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow, follow all my social media in the description, and follow my Twitch account. Trish.tv at Plexus 15 because tomorrow I will be live at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time and we'll be and we will and we will and we will continue to be playing Spider-Man well, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales New Game Plus mode because tomorrow I'll be doing the Plowler boss fight and well I need you all to be there how many beat the crap out Aaron Davis but uh yeah <laughs> thank you all. yeah guys thank thanks for watching enjoy the pictures and uh I'm out Bye, or peace, Reverend. Yeah, I know.